moly, that's a freaking spider on my hand right there. If you ever seen oh, one. We're still here on the beautiful island of Shargao in the Philippines. If you're new here, my name is Steve Yalo. I'm Pema. And today we did something pretty interesting. So we're staying in the area called General Luna, which is the most popular area for foreigners, tourists, travelers, surfers. Actually, there's another very popular area for surfers called Pacifico, which is about an hour drive away from General Luna. So this morning we woke up nice and early to drive to Pacifico to meet up with an organization called the Sun Crew. The Sun Crew is a non-profit organization that helps reward the children for attending school here in Shargao. It also promotes beach cleanups and environmentalism, which is really important to instill in the island youth. And the incentive for them to clean up the beach is they actually get to go surf. So Pacifico is a very, well, it's a, it's a small town, uh, but it's very popular for surfing. There's a, a local surf shop that offers free surfboard rentals to the kids if they, I think there's a whole program like involved. If they attend school every day for the whole week and they help clean up the beach on Saturday, then they get to surf for free uh, during the weekend. So it's a really nice program put in place to promote environmental sustainability. That's what we did this morning. And now we came back to a place that we really like because there are a bunch of little piglets out here. So we're gonna go try to take some videos and photos with these whoop, with these pigs that are right over here. Some locals are dancing over here, trying to get our attention. All right, we got some local boys over here. Can we have your help? We need your help. We want to catch a piglet. Piglet? Yeah. <laughs> Dad. We're getting entire team to help us catch a piglet. Hey hey. Hi. <laughs> Make it the big go down. Okay, 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh, he's in the mud! Oh no! <laughs> what's your name? Adonis. Adonis. And what's your name? Spider. Spider. Your yeah. name is Spider? Yeah. Yeah. My name is Man. Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> These pigs are looking at us. They're so curious. They want us to hold them. They, oh my they god. Want... Hey, you want to see a spider? You have a spider? Yeah. Camel spider. Camel spider? Holy yeah. crap. Spider? Yeah. What? Whoa! Oh, so big. That's crazy. Whoa! Oh, you want to touch it? No, no thanks. <laughs> we will not bite you. Can we do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it scared you. I'll let it. If it crawls on me. Yeah. No, it's okay. I'm good. Steve, you can do it. You yeah. do it. It will not bite. Steve won't bite you. You sure it won't bite? No. no. Yes. It'll know if you're afraid, so don't be afraid, Steven. Would you touch this pole in the top corner? Would you touch the spider? Ah! Holy no, no. moly, that's a freaking spider on my hand right there. If you ever seen oh, one. Crazy. Good job, Steven. Uh, Eat it. No, I'm kidding. No, spiders no, are people too. No, they're not. They're spiders. Whoa, I touched it. Good job. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, unfortunately, we weren't able to catch a pig, but we were able to catch a spider. 
this guy doing? <laughs> and I think now we're gonna head back to General Luna and we're switching accommodation today. Guys, we're riding back to General Luna and on the side of the road, we happen to see another, what do you call a group of piglets? A litter? A litter of pigs? Anyway, there's a bunch of little piggies right here. We found more piglets. And I think this mama's even bigger. No, no, no. <laughs> She's laughing at me. Pema, Pema really wants to buy one of these pigs. And she just asked the owner. But she said she can't sell them right now because the pigs still need the milk from the mother. They're only 10 days old. Yeah, they're so cute. We are checking out of our Airbnb. Thank you so much. Yeah, Salamat. We've been staying here for the past four okay. days. And now it's time to transfer. Ooh. And we already actually did one run because half our bags are at moonlight already. But now we have to take Pema's big old luggage. This is, this is heavy. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Guys, look at us right now. We have Pema's suitcase sandwiched between us on the motorbike. <laughs> I don't have a place for her feet. Pema's don't got a place for her feet, but we are making I am scooted all the way up. Oh. After a very long drive, we've made it to Moonlight. Oh, we're here. All right, we just checked in here at our place at Moonlight. Just put our bags down. Pema is probably already playing with the puppies. There is a dog here who just had puppies just over a week ago. They're like little tiny baby puppies. They're so cute. Oh my goodness, we just found some baby kittens too. What's up, little baby? Oh, they're so little. Oh, there's so many, so many baby here. babies. This is a day full of babies. First we saw piglets, two batches of baby piglets, then little puppies, now little kittens. Oh, I got the kitten, she's got the puppy. Oh, look at that puppy. Eyes aren't even open. It's so cute. Pema, where are we? We are in cloud nine. We're at cloud nine, and this is one of the most famous places in Chicago to catch sunset, unfortunately, as you can see. But, as you can see, there's no sunset. The sky is currently a little blah, but whatever. I was actually in Chicago for two weeks last year and I never came to cloud nine. So I had to come here. Unfortunately, the first time I came here for sunset, there's nothing. And also this right here is called jacking horse. And this, you can explain since you're an expert. I'm a Chicago expert. Oh. oh my god. I'm only on the billboards here for the tourist activity. <laughs> <laughs> she got, by the way, she got so excited this morning when we were in Pacifico and we saw a billboard for the different tours they do. And Allegria Beach, the photo was, it was like, it was a nice photo of the beach and like a little tiny human in there. I just wanted to say that I'm on their tourist posters for Allegria. That's me! These are me. And everybody cared. And everyone started clapping. This is how many people cared. Zero. Infinity, because everybody was enthralled. Anyway, so this is Jacking Horse, and it's a really popular beginning surf break. Uh, there are a lot of lessons out there, but actually, it's not that great a place to learn how to surf, because if you want to catch the bigger waves over there, there's a really strong tide. So I caught about one wave per hour and the other 55 minutes were uh, me paddling back out to that area. <laughs> I think one day this week we're going to try to catch some waves and surf a little bit. So that'll be fun. Tomorrow. That's slackline. <laughs> Alright, but for now, they have a slackline here. So it is time for some slackline. Whoa, this slackline looks so much higher than the one at Kermit. This is dangerous. I don't know about this. Because it's just as thin and much higher. See, this is trouble for me because I don't know if you notice, it's much higher than my crotch. So if I fall in between my legs, that is a baby killer right there. Oh man. But Pema's gonna try. She's walking. Look at this. She's doing it. She's doing it. She's got it. She's got it. Whoa, you're doing really good. Oh, maybe it's because you're holding it. <laughs> so we came back to J&M Eatery to get some quick food. We've actually been here for like an hour and a half just watching Blade Runner. 
this movie. Maze Runner. Maze Runner. That's why we think we know what the movie is. Maze Runner. The name movie is Maze Runner. I've never seen it before, but we started watching it like a quarter of the way through, and now we're hooked. We can't stop watching it. The movie's about to end, and we're just like uh, uh, just sitting in this restaurant watching this movie. It's a break now. It's a commercial, but oh man, this movie's intense. All right, guys, we just made it back to. Moonlight Homestay. I've already forgot the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> Moonlight Homestay. So I've been backpacking before, but like when I go backpacking, I'd stay at like really nice Airbnbs and hotels, I have to admit. And I've been in a hostel one time before in Hawaii. The hostel like $40, $50 a night, by the way. And this place, Moonlight, was the first hostel I actually, the first real hostel I yeah? actually stayed at. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I like the hostel vibes because we've been recently staying in Airbnbs and it's nice, but it's, I don't know, I like when there's other people around, other travelers, you can meet other people from all different places around the world. Yeah. And people here have been really nice. But anyway, tomorrow we have to wake up really early. We're going on our first boat tour around Shagar Island to go to the other little islands around here, so. And it's the only sunny, it's the first sunny day we've had in like since the first day we arrived. Supposedly, we'll see if we, if, if the weather map, I mean the weather app actually holds up. But yeah, it's been really rainy the past few days, but according to the weather app, it says it's going to be sunshine all day tomorrow. So we want to take, yeah, we're excited. We want to take advantage of that and go island hopping. So we're going to get to sleep pretty soon. Hopefully I can interrupt Pema braiding my hair and... <laughs> Get some rest. We gotta wake up. Breakfast is at 6 a.m. Yay! Oh man, two several days in a row waking up super early. I hope tomorrow the weather will be nice enough for us to actually enjoy the weather, though. Yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumb. <laughs> give it a big thumb. Click that big thumb button. Give it a like. You know what to do. <laughs> and uh, subscribe if you're not already. Do all that jazz. Leave a comment. Let us know what you liked. Subscribe to Pema's channel. She's gonna be creating a travel guide about Chargal. I said I was going to do that, but actually Pema's going to take over on that one because I'll just make like the daily style video, show you all that good stuff, but w if you want to see the overall big, epic, cinematic filled Chargal travel guide, head over to Pema Travels. Of course, the link is in the description. And also, Moonlight Homestay, the link will be in the description so you can book directly through their Facebook or website. I recommend you stay here. This is a cool place. The people Super who run it, cool yeah. Vibe. The people who run it make it feel like a home. So, it's really nice. And the dogs will remember you forever. Yeah. <laughs> she stayed here last year, and she thinks the dogs remember her. They so, totally remember let's just go me. along with that. Wow. You have a heart. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll Enjoy your cuddles by yourself. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow when we hop around some islands. We'll see you in the next vlog. Peace. Mm -hmm.